This display shows the Sims Climate Digest for August 2014, featuring highlights from the global analysis product issued each month by NOAA's National Climatic Data Center. The Climate Digest conveys a visual climate brief of recent conditions worldwide. Western Japan had its wettest August on record, with two typhoons contributing to the extreme precipitation totals. Meanwhile in Europe, Austria experienced its coolest August since 2006. France had its 10th wettest summer since records began in 1959, with more than 140% of average rainfall during June, July, and August. The United Kingdom had its coolest August since 1993. In the United States, 32% of the contiguous U.S. was in drought, with conditions worsening in parts of Texas and the southeast. While beneficial rainfall brought short-term relief to the southwest, long-term drought conditions are expected to impact water resources and agriculture, while increasing the risk for wildfires. Australia experienced warm temperatures around the perimeters of the continent, which surrounded cooler than normal temperatures in the center and north central part of the nation. The Northern Territory experienced its fourth lowest mean temperature since national records began in 1910. There were three notable tropical cyclones during the month of August. In the Atlantic Basin, Hurricane Bertha reached maximum winds of 130 kilometers per hour while moving northward offshore of the U.S. eastern seaboard. On August 10th, Bertha impacted the UK, causing heavy rainfall that triggered flash flooding. In the Central Pacific, Izel made landfall on Hawaii's Big Island as a tropical storm on August 7th. Izel was the strongest tropical cyclone on record to impact the island, and the first to make landfall since 1992. In the Western Pacific, Typhoon Halong had winds up to 260 km per hour and made landfall in Japan on August 7th. The country was lashed with strong winds and extensive rainfall. This real-time data set is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from the average. Red portions of the map depict regions that experienced above average warmth. Blue portions of the map indicate below average temperatures, and white indicates near average conditions. August 2014's average global land and ocean temperature was the warmest August since records began in 1880. The summer months of June, July, and August were the hottest on record for the planet. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, and red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, there is a 60 to 65 percent chance of El Nino developing during the northern hemisphere fall and winter. El Nino conditions typically have impacts for temperature and precipitation patterns in the United States. This real-time dataset, collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites, shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. The August sea ice extent for the Arctic was 13.8% below the 1981-2010 average, which is the seventh smallest since satellite records began in 1979. Finally, we'll move on to the Antarctic where August 2014 was the largest sea ice extent on record, at 6% above the 1981-2010 to 2010 average. And that is your August 2014 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.